Welcome back to the channel guys, today we're reviewing on LEGO 76204, the LEGO Marvel Black Panther Mac armor set, 125 pieces, retail for $9.99 USD, $14.99 HDD, as one vintage figure which is T'Challa. Without further ado, let's move on to the next section. So starting off with our minifigure, we have T'Challa right here, which is pretty cool in appearance I have to say. I really like this particular version as compared to my past two versions from Civil War Infinity Saga, just because the head print right here is just much more impressive with the nose print being much more distinct as compared to previous versions. And yeah, the standard torso kind of looks like the Infinity Saga one if I'm not wrong. And I do like the silverish patterns on it, especially the necklace right there, it looks really nice. And I do appreciate that they gave us two of the Wolverine claws as well in addition to it. So kind of representing, you know, the sharp nails of uh, his suit and all, so that's pretty nice looking. Other than that, we also get an extra headpiece and hairpiece for T'Challa, which is pretty nice as well, you don't get that for Wolverine. And yeah, I really quite like this minifigure. It is the back torso and the head print for the minifigure at the back, and that is kind of it for this minifigure. And next for our Mac, which is the main design of this set, this Mac right here has all the purplish patterns and the black patterns on it. And what I really like about this is not only just the, the glass in front, just looks really nice in appearance and really kind of like shows the Wakanda tech right there, which is cool and all. And the minifigure right there fits perfectly into this and I would say that it's much more scrawny and how do I say, uh, much more agile in appearance as compared to the more bulky um, Wolverine mech. Because like, um, yeah, it just represents Black Panther better I guess, because in terms of just agility and just how Black Panther moves, he's much more faster and much more agile as compared to Wolverine, so it makes sense for his back to be designed in another manner as well, which I appreciate. And other than that, I really just like the claws on this mech right there. Kind of reminds me that of that, um, what's that called? The Kamen Rider White Tiger or White Tiger Kamen Rider from back in the day, and or otherwise like Maverick from Wolverine and X Men. Those two characters really remind me, or like get reminded from this mech design right here, so yeah, there's a small tangent side right there, but it's just kind of cool in appearance and I really like it. And that, as with the Wolverine mech, this mech as well is very flexible in appearance, you can move all the different parts and joints with all joints attached over there, including the shoulders, the arms, the legs, and even the body itself to an extent, so yeah. And otherwise, this is the back look of the Mac right there. I would say I like the back look of the Wolverine Mac much better than this. This one right here kind of looks a bit sketchy or not nice in appearance, I would say. So yeah, maybe they could have added more bricks at the back to make it look more coherent. But I do understand since there's a lack of piece count for such a small set. And that's, yeah, there's a print on this uh, design as well, which is the front over here with kind of the necklace print. Which is pretty cool as it kind of like represents the Black Panther to an extent. Since the necklace is where the suits come from after all, as introduced in the previous Black Panther movie. So yeah. So anyways, last for our final verdict wise, I would give this set of aesthetics of around 6 probably. Because I do like the Wolverine Mac more than this in terms of appearance. So yeah. And otherwise for price to piece ratio, it's pretty decent I guess 125 for around 999 USD. Although it's slightly less than it would be, so I would give it a 7. And lastly, for uh, our functionality wise, same with the Wolverine Mac, it's, it functions really well for a Mac. It's very movable and all. And I kind of like the claws given on this as well, and therefore I would give it a 9. A 9, 7, and 6 would make this set a B grade set. I hope you like this video so far, and if you do, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. I really do like this main figure, but probably I'll keep it in the shelf instead of the previous version of the Black Panther. Anyways, yeah, that's it guys. Bye!